and welcome to the Magnetic Force Lab. Now, magnetic force was discovered by Pierre Curie, the husband of Marie Curie. Alright, now, before we begin, I need your right hand. Please don't lose your right hand. We need it for this lab. Alright, stick with me. Please don't lose your right hand. Okay, now, what are these crosses over here? This is our magnetic field. Alright, now, this goes inwards into our board. So this goes into our board. That's the direction of our magnetic field. And now, let's take our wire, because we want to light something up, presumably, and let's just stick it in a place where it probably won't fall. And in this wire, the current is traveling eastward, which is this way. All right, so now, what we want to do, and we want to find the direction of the magnetic force, we want to demonstrate that over here. We need your right hand for this procedure, and it's amazing. Step one, determine which hand is your right hand. It's this one, for me at least. So, now, step two is to point your thumb in the direction of the current, which is eastward of the time being. Step three is to unfurl your other fingers. You see this eye? This means that this is where the current is traveling. And now the magnetic field is traveling this way. So that is the magnetic field. I told you it went inward into the boot. Now I'll snap my fingers and the magnetic force will appear. Three, two, one. Uh, let's just get it ready. I told you it was always gonna come. All right, so now the magnetic force is coming out of our magnetic field. And so it must be perpendicular to our magnetic field. It's shown here. And so, since that happens, it also must be perpendicular to our current. So, now I want you to tell me, what is the relationship between the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic force? Give you three seconds. Three, two, one. All right. It is that they are actually perpendicular as you can see over here. The lab has ended, now you can lose your right hand because we don't really need it anymore after this. But please, just keep it out. We don't want you to become amputees here at Barry Science Lab. All right, 